All right, you guys. Today I am going to do a lot of things. I'm gonna take off the winter wrap. I'm going to do a bit of an inspection. Um, it is April 12th and it is beautiful and warm outside. Probably about upper 60s and the bees are just trucking. They're super occupied right now. You can see like a conveyor belt of bees. And as I look at them and I see what they're bringing in, I can see, let's see here. Not all of them have pollen, but a lot of them do. Here, I'll bring you closer so you can get a look. Oh yeah, see that yellow? Lots of maple coming in, probably red maples. And they are just loving it up. It is a wonderful day and we are just loving the performance of this hive. Um, they have been going gangbusters now for a good while. One of our strongest colonies coming out of winter. And I'm suspecting we're probably gonna be able to make a split or two from this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and move through the hive. We'll see how this goes. Um, it's always an experiment uh, when I'm doing these things, especially on video. So I'm gonna go ahead, open it up. Hopefully we've got a pretty good view. I'll talk as much as I can, but I'm trying to move pretty quick because I've got another bee yard to visit and I want to make sure I get to everything that I need to today. All right, so first things first, let's go ahead and remove the wrap. The nice thing about the bees when it's, they're busy like this, they're not going to care as much about me getting inside the hive. This hive has been a little spicy. Um, <laughs> I, I'm going to tell you I've already been stung by them early this season but it was also during a time where they weren't flying a lot um, I'm just watching them right now and it is just magic seeing how many bees are flying so it's time to get them opened time to inspect the hive do a little winter cleaning uh, just everything all in one all right got my gloves in case I need to put them on I'll reuse and repurpose. Um, with the wraps, I've just got tar paper on here. It seems like they really help this season. Something I'll definitely do again. Got these little screws to kind of help reinforce here in different areas to kind of hold it all around the hive. Right. So far, so good. I'm really liking that they don't really care that I'm here doing this. So I'm gonna put those things down. Get this tar paper off. We're probably like, holy moly, you're cooking us. We've got enough heat in here. Um, I'm looking at this, not a lot of dead bees on this tar paper, so that's good. Um, you know, sometimes with weaker colonies, you might see some dead ones on the front. There's a few on there, but not too many. I like that. Go ahead. This is like, I always use a really big block during the winter. We get some crazy gusts of winds that blow through here. At any point in time, the chance for the hat to come off is possible, the hat being the top cover. Um, you'll see under the top cover, I've also got some insulation. It acts basically like a hat. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this over here. Kind of gives me another little table to work from. Um, when I'm working the hives myself, I'm always trying to set things out so I can get to them as easily as possible. All right, so it doesn't hurt to smoke, but honestly, these bees don't really care what I'm up to. We'll see if I'm still saying that a little bit here after I get in the hive. All right, oh, there's so many. They're just super occupied. Oh, look at all these bees. This is magic. This is what you want to see when you're coming out of the winter hive. I am very hopeful I'm going to be splitting this colony at least once, if not twice. I mean, it is just pouring out bees out of the town. So awesome. So awesome. If I had a camera person, I'd have you come here and look a little bit closer, but, you know,
actually queen cells. At this rate, if this colony were to continue pumping at this speed, there's no question it's a likely candidate for swarming. So I'm gonna go ahead, get on in. I like to start on a side and I try to be consistent as I move through it. And so I usually go two in. It's easy for me to kind of push those frames around a little bit. You know, I recently added another box of food because um, we were heading out of winter and I was able to do that. As much as possible, I like to be able to feed the bees real food, not sugar water or pollen patties that are artificial. So as I look at this, it's hard for you to see, but it is just glistening with nectar and pollen. I can see all that in there. Now I'm making sure I don't see a queen, and I don't see her on this side. Go ahead and look. You know, I'm taking my time to look at this. No rush. Do a good inspection. This is 100% a food frame. Um, and also, that being a, that it's a food frame, this could be a great frame for me to add into my nuke. It's nice and clean. It's got a good mixture of pollen, honey, and some worker bees that are foraging. But let's keep going in. because I had the entrance up at the top. Looking for the queen. I don't see her. But what I do see are a bunch of eggs. Lots of eggs. We're talking fresh eggs. So she may be anywhere. this one to my box. Make sure she's not here, especially with all that young brood that I see. I mean, it's just pumping with young brood. Now, if we get really lucky today, we may be able to uh, and because this frame was just next to it and it has such nice resources, I'm going to go ahead and put that right in there. There's a lot of good bees on there, a lot of workers and foragers, mm -hmm. but probably a mixture of other attendants as well. So I'm going to go ahead and put that one in there too. This is such a great day to work bees. You know, we don't have, they're, they're occupied, and so they're not really caring too much about what I'm doing. I love that. And when I look down inside the hive, I can see tons of bees. So that tells me that there's plenty enough bees to take for this split. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep looking. You know, I suspect the queen isn't too far away because I just saw all of that brood. All right, using my hive tool here, I love this thing. It helps me to move, grab things a lot easier. Gotta pay attention to what I'm doing as I'm talking. I always end up paying way more attention to talking. Oh my God, wow, wow, look at this. Oh my God, it's amazing. Look at all of that room. Just unbelievable. It's solid, solid to wall to wall room. This is what we want. And so, You know, I 
I'm not seeing her right away on this frame, but this is an example of capped brood that we call pupae that is just perfect for adding to our nuke. So again, we're trying to get bees that are all different age classes. And these pup pupated bees are just transforming into adults. So we're gonna go ahead and put that in. Gosh, this is exciting. nice thing is you know as you guys know bees are super organized and the fact that I can kind of pull these bees from the same cluster and group it's almost like taking the nuke out that was already there so I'm not messing them up pulling frames from here there and everywhere I'm taking what they naturally how they naturally organize themselves that's a good thing you're kind of just working with them instead of throwing them around and making them do something. All right. All right, looking at the next frame here. My goodness. My goodness. Oh, more amazing brood. Now, when I flip this over on the other side, you're going to see a pupae that's a little bit darker. That's a little bit further along. And so what's so amazing to me about this in part is the fact that I just added this box of food, I don't know, probably like three weeks ago, and they are already ate the food and are now, the queen has laid eggs and has replaced it. This is just phenomenal. So I don't see her yet, um, but I'm looking. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead. This side of the frame has some larvae over here, but also this capped brood. So you can see that dark area. See that? That is all capped brood. We love that. And it's going to emerge soon. All right. Continuing to look, um, we're really getting into this hive and all I have to say is I am so excited about this. It is unbelievable all that's going on in here. This queen is really doing a phenomenal job. I can't wait to see her. I'm just, you know, hoping I'm going to find her. I know that she's here because I'm definitely seeing all of the evidence with her brood. But when there's so many bees like this, sometimes it can be a little bit difficult. Wow, just amazing. I'm seeing some young fuzzy bees over on this side. They look like kind of like wet newborn babies. Their hair is all matted down. They haven't quite fluffed up. Now, another good frame of brood, but I'm gonna leave this one here because I don't wanna take everything. And trust me, I'm not. There is a lot of bees in here. Let's see. Get our smoker going again. Sometimes you just gotta get make sure it's got enough oxygen in it. Oh, there we go. All right. Give it a good smoke. So for this nuke that I'm going to make, I wouldn't mind getting another frame of young bees. Got bees all over my hands right now. It's totally okay. I just got to work slow. They're getting a little bit irritated here. They know they got their alarm pheromone going.
keeper, see what else we got. Kind of still looking for that queen. But they're trying to all come to the entrance that was up here at the top, so they're a little bit confused. I don't want to squash bees. I can tell they're all up there. So I'm going to move this down. Just for the moment.
dead bees. I mean, they, they are on top of it. This colony is just prolific. I can't wait to get them split. This is going to be so fun. hard it is to find her. See 
her right there? Oh my God, look at her. Oh, I know, it's like, come on. There she is, right there. Do you see her? I hope so. She's hiding and burrowing in. Just amazing. She's back in the corner. She's very shy. So what I'm gonna try to do, good news, I don't have the queen in my, um, and there she is, even better. I don't have my queen in my uh, nuke, but I got bees on my finger. Um, I'm gonna get the queen and I'm gonna mark her. She's just phenomenal. So I'm gonna get her, mark her, so I make sure I know which year we've had her. Oh, there we go. And it'll be easier to find her. But the good news is we found her. We had to go to the bottom of the boxes, but there she was. Very cool. Oh my gosh, just remarkable, right? Look at her. Oh my God, I love it. I wanted to stop the video because there she is. And I wanted to make sure, giving the bees back on, there we go. It's gonna be easier to grab her and then just really gently, really, really gently um, mark her. All right, here we go. side you see her there basically what I'll do is I'll kind of there's a foam stopper at the end oh there that's perfect and then there we go I get a place where I can mark her thorax
a lot of cleaning. Again, not a lot of dead bees at the bottom of this. More honey, no queen cells, just, again, I'm saying honey, but I mean nectar. It's nectar that hasn't turned on honey yet. Nectar, clean and polished cells.